what is our project today I'm still doing some work underneath the house and this whole section of floor this is uh, the floor up above is all supported by this big huge beam right here that goes straight across because these these TJI's go beyond here they cantilever out to make like a bay window in the bedroom and it sticks out over this wall maybe oh I don't know four feet or so or a little less and um, that's why they had to come across and stop here because all the other floor joists went from left to right they couldn't do that over here because they had to get these to stick over this wall so they put this huge beam in here it's actually pieces of plywood glued together uh, five or six uh, well uh, at least five three-quarter inch pieces of plywood and then they and then they uh, I was like how are they extending those that way because plywood's only eight feet long let's well, see they make these little grooves cut boom 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 they glue those together and then they offset those see the next the next piece over is right there see and and they stagger them and stuff and and believe it or not it makes for a really strong beam well at the end over there see that transfers the the uh, beam transfers all the weight to the exterior wall over there and to this wall over here I'm gonna have to do something funky over here because there's two top plates here and there's only one two by six here at the end of the top plates it should have been underneath but see underneath was this and they didn't extend it down I don't know how the inspector got by with letting them do that I'm gonna end up doing something there uh, you'll just have to keep watching this video for that but the first and foremost I'm gonna follow this beam all the way through here and there should be a post in the wall you follow this right there there should be a post do you see any post there's no post 19 19 year old house and there's no post there and the inspector sure missed that didn't he and so I was looking at that and I was like okay I'll I'll have to put some two by sixes in there and then I'll have to cut them I think I was showing you see how they how they V cut that because there's a there's a uh, foundation bolt right there well there happens to be a foundation bolt here right exactly in my way for where this goes down kaboom and I'd have to notch out the two by six and stuff but I don't I don't I don't really want to do that because see here's another foundation bolt right here and so I don't need I don't need three I don't know why they put the foundation bolt so close there's another one so one two three four and there's probably another one right over there though you don't have to have them that close together you have them about that close together there's one uh underneath that insulation and then there's another one over there okay so i'm gonna decide i've decided made a corporate decision here me myself and i i'm gonna take this foundation bolt out of here and i was i was tightening up all these foundation bolts anyways and I don't know if you saw that video or not and one of the foundation bolts didn't have a nut on it I thought oh I'll just take this one off right there and so I'm going to cut that off and that's what this that's what this little video segment is going to be about that way I don't have to that way I don't have to notch the two by sixes that I'm going to cut I'm going to cut two two by sixes nail them together and then put them down in that bay and uh, stick it in there that way the weight will trans fur from the plate well you don't want two top plates holding up that beam that's a no-no I would never do that and I don't know how the uh, inspector missed that but he did and you would take the weight and transfer it on down to the mud seal down to the concrete that would be much better wouldn't it I'm surprised it's still holding up there I'm surprised those two by sixes didn't crack or something like that because you've got half half the weight of all of this section of flooring right in here transferred from this beam halfway from here all the way over to there and all that weight is distributed on top of those two two by sixes flat flat mind you 
the two top plates and that's what's holding that beam that should never be like that okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna decide to do something about that and so what I'm gonna do is like I say I'm gonna cut that foundation bolt out of there that way I don't have to uh, notch my two by sixes that I'm gonna put down there because I've got a foundation bolt right here I also got one there and so I don't really need that one there if I if I didn't have those other ones there you really you know I shouldn't be cutting off a foundation bolt to do that but I've decided to go ahead and do it that way because I've got them I've got another one right there and, and so that's what I've decided to do this foundation bolt is really doing nothing because they're so close together I have no idea why they wanted to run those so close together right there just trying to get that washer out of there okay so I can use that I can use this this nut on the other foundation bolt that's missing and so we're gonna cut that off here in a minute <laughs> 